it does because scale is very much about the peer-to-peer -peer exchange. I, I said that we maintain basically this, this basic relationship. I'm a manufacturer of my clients or my suppliers uh, and they exchange proofs and so cryptographic proofs and, and verifiable credentials. Uh, so we maintain this and it's a peer-to-peer. -peer. The underlying blockchain level is for the public keys that must be looked up for verification. The schemas that are only issued once in a while, so the schemas never change really. Uh, maybe once a while a certifier extends a schema, but it anyway has to be based on common understanding of the greenhouse gas protocol or the ISO standards, or maybe extensions on top of this uh, would define the attributes and the verifiable credentials. So it's scale I don't see really as an issue mm -hmm. in our use case. Uh, we, we hash blocks of data to the, to the blockchain um, with the vast majority, and we've got you know, hundreds of millions of records coming in from uh, the supply chain, um, that would just create indigestion. So we're using traditional databases, Oracle and graph databases, um, to store a lot of the heavy data and then hashing packets of that data to the blockchain. Um, and a similar approach, really, to, to you know, gaining the benefit of the distributed ledger without the disadvantages of you know, trying to store vast quantities of information in the distributed ledger itself.